In this video, we're going to talk about torque wrenches. Uh, this is one, uh, one type of torque wrench. They come in different varieties, different versions, but this is uh, kind of a common one. It's, it's pretty basic. It's analog, no, uh, no electronics in it. And there's a scale here. You can see it's in, in inch ounces, but you can easily do a conversions between inch ounces and foot pounds and inch pounds and uh, whatever other, you know, uh, wh what else would you have? Uh, Newton meters, you know, whatever torque uh, unit you want to use. And you can buy them and, and they come in different units as well, of course. Uh, this particular one goes up to 96 inch ounces. Uh, so let's talk about why you might want to use a torque wrench. Well, a really common application is installing fasteners. Uh, for example, you might be a uh, you might be designing something that's going to be assembled by a factory worker, and you want to make sure that these factory workers don't install the screws with with too much force because that might cause the screw to the the, the thread to strip and and then the screw is not uh, holding the part together like it should. So you want to make sure that the uh, factory worker doesn't use too much torque to tighten those screws. So uh, this is the tool that you would do that with. And we've got this, this little like Kapton tape dispenser here. Quickest thing I could find that, that has a screw in it we could use to, uh, to kind of uh, evaluate and play with. So, you know, I, I might have the screw right here and as the mechanical designer, I might say, okay, factory worker, uh, don't put more than, uh, you know, 64 inch ounces of torque on this because do I already know based on some uh, experimentation that it will strip and we don't want that to happen so uh, it, you'll see that as I as I turn uh, this this indicator right here moves uh, uh, in an arc across these these little tick marks here each tick mark stands for a different torque value so if I you know turn it like this okay now now we're at uh, 64 inch ounces and I don't think the screw turned at all, so we know that it's installed with at least that much torque. And I wonder if we go a little bit further, if if we'll see it turn at all. Oop, that just slipped. Let's try it again. Nope. So I'm up at 96 inch ounces, and it's it's not it's not uh, turning at all. So we know that this is installed with at least 96 inch ounces, and whatever that value is is not really relevant to this video. Um, the point is, this is a torque wrench and this is how you use it. Uh, and you know, the, the, the type of application for which you might want to use this is uh, one example, installing fasteners, but there, there are certainly other applications as well. Installing fasteners is just a common one. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.